kicks to Calderon. Feeds to Anthony. The pass to Persingas. Just five on the clock. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Here's T. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Aflalo dishes to Calderon. That's to Persingas. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. That was the third straight high percentage look this defense has allowed. I mean, these defenders have got to start bumping bodies in the paint. Be more physical. Be more aggressive. The game's just far too easy right now when it comes to attacking the basket. They have got to do better. Dishes to Calderon. Here's the screen. Shoots from 14. And he gets it to go. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds a spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who he's defending. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. A follow the pass to Carmelo. Here's Przingis, covered by Rubio. Down low, and it's Anthony with the jam. And did you see the screen that was set for him? I mean, that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screenplay. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Absolutely, Kevin. I mean, that took the defender right out of the play. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Minnesota's gone 6 of 11 when they're taking the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Anthony is out there with Robin Lopez. Then it's Tony Roten. Then there's a follow. And it's Calderon in at the two spot. At the line for two. And both free throws good from Freak. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And... That's taking care of business, fellas. Lopez a screen. And Aflalo kicks to Anthony. Pulls it from 20. Rebound, Minnesota. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. Wiggins drives in. The feed to Freak. Kicks it to Towns. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. And a follow kicks to Anthony. The dunk and the foul. Powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on Freak. And guys, this game won't be close for long if they keep giving up dunks like that. No, it won't, G.A. You're right. A glaring error defensively and letting him get all the way to the basket that time. But it's only two points. I mean, it was flashy, no doubt. But still, it only counts for two. Two is all. Aflalo dishes to Roten. He kicks it to Calderon. Aflalo outside. Now, here's Roden. Defense is right there. Lopez, no luck. Minnesota in the lead. Fires for three. But they'll get another chance. Rubio, the pass to team. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Wiggins kicks to Freak. That ball's high speed that time from Wiggins. 26 points for Freak. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. No question. That's their goal down the stretch here. I think finding those close-range rhythm shots. 
Lopez a screen. Shot clock at six. And it's good. Fought through contact. Gets the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Shot's good. He can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Zinkis, he's checked in for New York. And Towns gets it to go. Boy, this game has really started to heat up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, I tell you what, I don't mind it. You don't either, it sounds like. Good offense is entertaining, and that's exactly what we're getting. Here's T, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He's been absolutely in control. No slowing down for T. He's got 26 points, and those four three-pointers he's hit have helped him, too. No doubt, Clark. They'd be in a much different position this game if he wasn't knocking down those triples. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Calderon for three. New York, no good that time either. Timberwolves leading by five. Here's T, and he's good on the free ball. T's got 16 here in the second half. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Calderon dishes to Lopez. The shot's good on the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got six assists now in the game. Minnesota's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. Seven of 13 on threes. And it's Rubio penetrating. That's good. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there, Greg. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. There's a good screen. Here's Calderon. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds for the Knicks as New York retains possession. Next call. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Shoots from the elbow. They get the rebound. Lopez. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Timberwolves. I like the work they've done at the free throw line all throughout this game. They've been the aggressors. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. T the pass to Wiggins. Looks a big high pounce and goes in. And the Timberwolves lead by 10. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. To the left side wing. Singus passes to Carmelo. A 15-footer. Anthony missing again. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Inside, Brzingis, it's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Wiggins kicks to Freak. The dish to Towns, uncovered, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Knicks trail by 14. Now Anthony. Off the left rim and out. And he's clearly just disappeared here in this quarter, not making any contributions here with his offense. And Greg, it's been hard to watch. I mean, you can see his frustration. He's actually looking forward to the end of this period so he can have a fresh start for the next one. And the foul called on Freak. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. the screen nice jump shot good the screenplay worked ideally there and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater <laughs> gave him more than enough room to get that shot off 
free kicks to Levine from outside the arc, and he gets it to go. And the Timberwolves lead by 15. And they clearly are just destroying this group right now from the three-point line. Yeah, and the defense knows it. I mean, they are fully stretched out trying to stop the three-point shot and still haven't been able to do it. And here we go. Here's Wiggins. That one rolling around and rims out. Knicks trail by 15. And here's Calderon. Anthony dishes to Calderon. Porzingis passes to Calderon. Shot clock at five. Pass to Carmelo. Let's it fly. And he connects with the jumper. Anthony's got four points this quarter. Here's Rubio. Here's Wiggins. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got his eighth assist here tonight. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Kurt Rambis had to say to the team. He told them that they simply have to step up, saying if we don't make a move now, it's going to be too late. Give them everything you've got. Kevin? Timberwolves leading by 15. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Been a big game for Rubio. He's got 11 points. What a game he's had passing the ball, too. I love the fact that he plays for his teammates, really spreading the ball around, getting everyone involved. Knicks trail by 17. To the middle, and stolen by Wiggins. Rubio with it. Freak kicks to Towns, kicks it out to Wiggins. Levine passes to T. Levine dishes to Freak. Five on the clock, inside, and he uses the glass on the lane. T's got 18 points just in the second half. Really just continuing to increase the lead. This one should be easy for the rest of the way. Yeah, and you know, Greg, at this late stage, a lead like that it has a team really feeling quite good about itself, and deservedly so. They set the pick to the inside. Sinks it, and the shot from Persingas. Persingas has got 27 points. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Timberwolves. Clark, look at the number of assists. Well, they minimized the one-on-one -on -one situations, Kevin. They got the ball moving, and it found the open guy. Great ball movement. You're right. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was. For T. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. He dishes it to Levine. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the way, Wiggins. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Here's T, and there's another one for the Timberwolves. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of serve. Calderon up top, covered by Rubio. Calderon has the open look. Misses off the right iron. T. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to me, Kevin. I know their fans loved tonight. it and appreciated it. Whew. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? 